My name is Rick Qualls, and I'm a pastor at Fountain Community Church. I've been pastoring in Bellingham since 1971, so I have the honor, I guess, of being the oldest pastor that's still serving in Bellingham. And I am the director of the Sandwich Way Coalition that started about two and a half years ago. I think the criminal activity is one issue, but just those victims that are indirectly associated with that criminal activity. There might be a, a drug problem, but they're, they're not just the users and the distributors, they're the families that are watching it or being exposed to it that creates a safety issue, a health issue, on and on. So one of the first things we did almost three years ago now was just invite people to come and let's talk about this. Let's bring your piece of the puzzle, be, be it be a homeowner in the area or a business owner or the sheriff's department or whatever and as we began to have conversation we saw the need was so much more than one person or one agency could tackle on their own so we had to look at um, the housing scenario the safety scenario the morality scenario the drug use health all those kinds of things it took a while for us to really be able to engage and have um, some meaningful conversation but beyond that being able to try to bring some resources to people's lives Part of our group felt like the best way to address this was to actually be on site and it started with that with a, a week at the hotel and then we opened a center up here on the on the corridor for about a year and a half. I think one of the hardest situations was seeing a family of seven in a motel room with two beds and seeing little kids that had nothing. It wasn't just about getting emergency housing, it wasn't just about care for their kids, it was about a job. It was about hope for the future, about what do I do when I'm a single parent and I have three kids and I have no income. So um, it wasn't something we could just say, okay, this, this plan will work for you. It'll fix all your needs. We had to come up with a much broader scope. Being able to hear just those concerns, because some were saying, well, we just need a place where people could eat a meal, or someone else was saying we need a job search program, and on and on. So. We had, to, we had to try to hear all of that and try to make some sense of it. Out of that, we formed a core group of people, about 25 of us, that met almost every week for several months to try to dialogue and see what, what are we doing, what can we do. Obviously, we're not doing enough because there's still a problem. Recognizing that a lot of our skill set wasn't meeting some of the psychological needs, some of the health issues, some of the problems that are long, long standing. So we had, to, we had to continue to kind of beat the drum. We have to do this together. We can't, we can't evaluate the need and then walk away saying it doesn't fit in my box. We have to figure out whose box it belongs to and how do we do this together. So we created, we have an email list of about 100 different agencies and families and such that uh, represent other agencies and families and it goes out in the network when we have needs every week we send it out here's the need who can help so we'll continue to exist because the need continues to exist.